Hello, everyone. Today on Stocks to Watch, we're spotlighting Mindwalk Holdings Corp, listed on the NASDAQ as HYFT. This is a company at the forefront of biologics, drug discovery, leveraging cutting edge AI and in-house wet lab capabilities to really accelerate the development of life-changing therapies. Joining us today is Dr. Jennifer Bath, president and CEO of the company, who really brings deep expertise and experience in antibody discovery and has guided the company through its evolution from Immunoprecise to Mindwalk Holdings, and we'll get much deeper into that here shortly. So Dr. Bath, before further ado, welcome to Stocks to Watch. Thank you, Ashley. It's great to be here. Yes, it's always great to sit down with you. So drug discovery in biologics is often described as slow, expensive, and risky. Now, I don't want to start off all negative, but <laughs> it's important, right, to touch on this. And from your perspective, what would you say is the biggest challenge in this space? And how is MindWalk positioned to address it? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. That's a great question, Ashley. I think even within the question itself, it touches on the most significant pain points. It's that how slow it is to build a therapeutic and the extreme amount of cost and then and then the risk. All are things that we focused on. And, and a large way that we have overcome these kind of pain points in therapeutic discovery is focusing on a core issue in the late discovery of the risk that's in building a therapeutic. So looking at things like the safety of a molecule, is it going to be toxic in humans? Is it going to manufacture well when it gets to the clinic or becomes commercial? A lot of those issues today don't show up until tens of millions of dollars are spent. And they're at the end of a program where you're checking, you know, whether or not your lead candidate or a couple of lead candidates are, are really poised to move forward. So what we really do is we're able to work with such massive amounts of data at scale and with such precision, we are able to front load all of those decisions. So we can use our AI-driven immunogenicity testing, humanization testing, developability screenings very early on, literally within weeks of the, the discovery program, and, uh, and then rapidly verify that information in our own lab. So, you know, today, even just the, the initial discovery portion of a program will typically take you one and a half to two years. We can compress that into about two months using our software without jeopardizing the quality, without jeopardizing precision, and oftentimes getting back much more insight into a program, much more data to support a program, and, and oftentimes a better product than what you would get in the lab. Yeah, really fascinating. And you talk about precision. You started out as immunoprecise, working for years, years in mm -hmm. antibody discovery. So how would mm -hmm. you say that experience and track record really shaped the company you've built today, MindWalk? And, and how did it ultimately lead to the emergence of this new name and a new company? That's a fantastic question. I mean, our original company, Immunoprecise Antibodies, it started in Victoria, BC. It's about 45 years old. And, and in, that, in that time, that foundation that was built for it to, to, to build and to grow and eventually shape MindWalk today, it's been all about the scale and the depth of what we have done to date. We've completed over 4,000 different discovery programs. We work with 19 of the top 20 pharma. Our footprint is about 750 clients, active clients working for our company. And so during this time, we've advanced over 15 different products into the clinic. And, and so we, we look at this in kind of the AI landscape and people who have moved into biologics discovery. And many of our AI competitors have done 15 to maybe 20 programs compared to 4,000 different programs. So a lot of it is really, you know, that breadth and that depth of information and, and of knowledge that have become the core of, of what we're building on. We know what good drugs look like. We know what it takes to build a good drug. And that gap, you know, matters. Our models are trained on far broader labeled outcomes and, and our distribution with our client base enables much more rapid adoption. 
Yeah, it sounds like incredible partnerships. So it's incredibly impressive. You have 750 clients, 4,000 programs. And this year you rebranded as MindWalk Holdings and switched your ticker to HYFT on the NASDAQ. So what was really the rationale and reasoning behind that strategic decision from a business and operational standpoint? That's, yeah, that's a very good question as well. You know, over the past 10 years, immunoprecise antibodies was really evolving. And, and as we were tackling more of the challenges in the industry, really looking, you know, to, as you said in your first question, reduce the cost, reduce the risk, reduce the time. That led us to make key acquisitions in areas where we felt that we couldn't already R&D or engineer or didn't already have the lead platform for a particular application. And so during that time, we, as we accumulated other companies, we ended up having companies with different names and different geographies that, you know, really specialized in a particular area. So from a business perspective, you know, this rebranding was a lot about one platform and one story. That's what we have built. But our name didn't really show that. And it didn't really, we were really here about unifying all of these names into a brand that mm. people could recognize and investors could underwrite. And the ticker HIFT, we love that part of this because that highlights our core differentiated technology. That's what really makes us different and enables us to do biologics discovery faster and with less expense and to remove the risk and to provide insights that others cannot. So that that HIFT ticker is really pointing to our core patented and protected engine that encodes the biological patterns directly from first party lab and sequence data. And, and that core technology is what provides us, this is at the heart of our software and provides us with these explainable outputs that leak the sequence to the structure, to the function that is really kind of the, the holy grail of what people have been trying to do in biology. So we felt let's put that ticker in there to always point that back to our differentiator and 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 how we are really changing the drug and biologics uh, discovery process. I think from a from an operations perspective, Ashley, that single brand and stack it streamlines. You know, not just our our name and our brand, but our sales. You know, it streamlines that quality, the bundling of the software, the data, and then that lab validation, really into one house of brands as well. And then from a financial perspective, I think that's that's important to consider as well, because our AI and our data offerings, these actually carry much higher gross profit margins than typical lab services do. So even though our lab has a very significant gross profit margin compared to other wet labs in the space, the AI is even again much more significantly higher. So as this mix grows and as the AI is taking on more and more of a role of our services, then we start seeing the company-wide gross margins increasing. Yeah, the, the the excitement and enthusiasm with you explaining this is is really, you know, infectious. So I, I guess I just have a question. So for those that are watching that don't really understand the science behind it, at the end of the day, you have a patient. How is the patient benefit from what, what it is you're doing? Great question, Ashley. There's a lot of ways that patients can actually benefit from our Lens AI software and our HIP technology. I think one of the ones that, that is, is good to point to here today is, is one that we utilize one with one of our current applications already. It's an application that's called immunogenicity. It screens very, very rapidly, much, much faster than competitors. We're actually able to screen hundreds of thousands of potential drugs literally within hours compared to weeks with competitors. And one of the things that it does is it flags different molecules that might be seen as toxic to an individual, something they might respond to with an adverse event. And it's not just making that faster. It's making that information more precise. It's pinpointing those with accuracy when compared to actual clinical trial data. Mm. But then also really interestingly, it is able to tell you upfront before you even go to the clinic, which patients very specifically based on what we call an HLA haplotype, which patients 
are likely to have adverse events to a particular molecule. Mm. So you're protecting patients as early as a phase one clinical trial by ensuring that you enroll patients who are not likely to have adverse events. That's also really helpful for the drug developer because they can ensure to enroll patients <clears throat> that are likely to respond better or at least not with an adverse events to the drug. So they're more likely to hit their endpoint and more likely to commercialize drugs, knowing exactly who can receive that. And really, to me, it sounds like at the end of the day, this technology could quite literally be saving lives because you're identifying what these patients would have adverse reactions to. It kind of reminds me of a program that we worked on in the federal government, pharmacogenomics, which okay. you know, is probably maybe similar, but but different. Mm -hmm. But it just... I think what you're doing is is just such important work. So, mm -hmm. you know, for investors that are watching, that are just learning about your company, that may have families mm -hmm. that 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 could really benefit, family members that could benefit from this. Three short statements, Dr. Bath. What really makes Mindwalk Hift a compelling investment opportunity today? Hmm. Great, great question. I think there's a lot of reasons <laughs> why it's a compelling investment. And, and part of it being that you those unique advantages we've talked about here, you know, these are patented advantages that we are already seeing major changes in the biologics discovery space with. We have already tackled problems that some of our pharma clients have worked on for 10 years, 15 years, have outsourced to wet labs and couldn't solve. And we have been able to solve them not only with precision, but explainable results so they can see exactly how we got the answers we did. And then, you know, they're going on to validate that and recognizing that we're not only changing the quality of how this research is done and what the outputs are, but we're doing things with such speed and precision. It's, it's changing even how our clients are looking at drug discovery. I, I would also say as an investor watching that improved economics, as, as we start seeing that lift of the overall gross margins, that obviously plays a role with regard to, you know, cash flow and a, and a broader impact on the company. I think that, that an important takeaway based on one of the questions that you asked was really about the provenness of our model. Like we know what we're doing. We know what makes a good drug. We didn't build AI and just train it on massive amounts of data to start learning about how we might be able to, you know, generate predictions. Mm. So we have this very proven model. We've done this before. We have this technology that's unprecedented and, and now also can very rapidly be confirmed in-house where our in-house operations with 45 years of experience are able to very rapidly validate information and know exactly what we're seeing. Uh, and then, and then I guess I would point back to this, this patented technology, you know, the importance of that. Now this patent, this technology is patented close to around the, the globe. We have three full different patent families to protect these key technologies and discoveries. And, and I think that's a really important part too, and very unusual when it comes to, you know, the core differentiator at the heart of someone's software to have that type of competitive edge. And honestly, you know, the, the main takeaway from me and what you're saying is making a difference. At the end of the day, you're making a huge difference, Dr. Bath. So really appreciate your time walking us through all of this with MindWalk Holdings. I didn't mean to say that. It just came <laughs> out. Again, listed on the NASDAQ as HIFT, H-Y-F-T, clearly. You have a proven track record in antibody discovery, this really bold AI-driven approach and a clear vision for the future of biologics. I so appreciate your time. MindWalk is truly positioning itself as a next generation innovator in drug discovery. So thank you so much, Dr. Bath. We'll see you again soon. Best of luck to you. Great. Thanks for having me, Ashley.